Hey guys, Young Forty Mom here. Um, got my camera set up crooked since I broke a leg or two, and I hope I hope you're able to see this. Okay, there's a there's a shadow coming from somewhere, and I can't figure out where it's coming from. Um, it Maybe the no, I don't know what it is. But anyway, I'm just going to show some of my completed projects that I've done over the years. I did a quick slideshow, but um, didn't really explain anything. Um, on my opening at the opening of my channel, there's a uh, uh, kind of like a just a quick slideshow of some of my finished projects. This is not nearly what I've done over the years because I've given so many away and I've made so many things. But, um, as some of you may know, I, I quit smoking in 98 and I needed something to do with my hands. I'd always cross-stitched. I mostly crocheted. But I always cross-stitched and then I picked it back up in 98 when I quit smoking and it, it literally saved my life. Um, had I not stopped smoking, I probably would have ended up with emphysema. I had smoker's cough so bad. It was like I was always coughing up stuff and, and it was just not healthy. If you heard any of my videos that I used to take when I was younger, um, and I was just in my 20s at the time. Um, no, no, no. Yeah. Yeah, and the, some of the videos that I took, I was in my 20s and you could literally hear me breathing. It was so terrible. Uh, and, and you know, the, oh, there's Leisha. She's breathing again. So... Yeah, so I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I did um, from that period on up to today. Some things that I've done that I did not create. Um, later I will show you some of my creations that I created myself. Oh, I think one's... Nope, nope, that's not one. Okay, just want to make sure I don't put any of those in here because I'm using those for my videos. Um, if you're interested in knowing how I do create my patterns, I will leave a link below so that you can click on that. Um, it's going to be a three-part series and as I'm doing this I've already recorded part one of how I create my patterns because some people were interested. So also um, if you would, if you're interested, um, go to my Facebook page. Um, you can, I'll leave the link below for my, oh, see there, see I'm trying to get used to where the camera is. Um, I'll do the link below so that um, if you're interested in joining my Just For Fun page um, share pictures, ideas, um, questions, if you, you know, if there's something that you want to see, or maybe just for us to share. Um, I don't want any drama, please, guys. Let's keep it friendly. I've seen what some of those people do out there, and it's just, it makes me really sad um, on some of those discuss groups. And they have to be deleted, which really, you know, really sucks. But anyway, okay. So, the first thing I'm going to show you here. These are my Ziggy's. I love Ziggy. Um, some of you may or may not know who Ziggy is. I'm trying to get this off here. Okay. Um, Ziggy is a character who seemed to be always down on himself, but he was just so cute. Um, this is not doing it justice. I did this on a dark gray background. And everything that I do, I usually put my signature. Oh, I don't know if you, you can't see that's not coming in very well. You know, I did it in a pink color, um, 1998. Uh, I wish I could get a little behind instead of a, a little head instead of a big behind. That's me. That's <laughs> I don't normally stick my rear end in the mirror, though. But um, I like my behind. It's big, but it's mine, and I'm, I'm happy with it. Okay, so there's that one. These all came from one book, and I did the whole, actually did the whole book. I did two whole books when I was quitting smoking. I don't have, I, I think I only have a couple of my precious moments in here. Um, but I did uh, two whole books of Ziggy. And I think I gave away all of them, but a couple of these, but four of these. Uh, life hasn't passed me by. It just hasn't discovered me yet. He's looking out the window. It's so cute. All right. Um, sometimes I feel like life is a formal, and I showed up in jeans. Yeah, that I have felt like that before. <laughs> um, I originally had done this for my niece, which is really funny because she graduated like in right when we moved back to Tennessee in 2000 and or 2003 I think it was 2002 she graduated high school and I never did get this framed and, and, and given to her and then my my other niece who graduated um, I want to say two years ago she didn't get it either so you graduated I actually have all these posted with prices on them so that I could just sell them and get rid of them because once you finish a work unless they tell you otherwise you can sell completed works um, you just can't resell the patterns, but anything that you make with the pattern, 
um, you can unless it has a disclaimer and none of these did or do so uh, but anyway if you go to my my just for fun page it's crafty young mom like I said I'll put the link below if you're interested in any of these you know you can go purchase them but if not you know there these patterns are out there I'm sure I just don't remember what the name of the book was because like I said this was in 98 so that was what 14 years ago <clears throat> excuse me okay so I absolutely love these cats I don't know what it is about them um it's calico calico something wait a minute I've got I think I've got the name of it calico crossroads I believe is the name of the oh where did you go think you are yes okay here we go um calico crossroads designed by linda connors adapted from the artwork of kathleen kelly of cats by kelly um it's out of georgetown texas um if, if you haven't done any of these oh I, I recommend them highly especially if you're a cat lover they are so adorable but this was the first one i ever did and i just thought it was so cute and and i did i don't think i oh i did i did i put um ay 2000 and 2008 i think that's when i did that one okay but anyway um i have like 10 or 15 of these to do and i've only done i've only done two um, so more than likely you will probably see these in my whips. My plan is to have these frames and put them around my craft room um, once I reorganize it. But anyway, I'm just this one of the ones that I just love. I just love the little kitty cats and the paws. All right, so there's that one. And this is the one that I just showed you, the tech support one. Um, I think this is just so cute. And it's got, you know, a little computer monitor and they're playing with the mouse. And um, the books are A Tale of Two Kittens, Of Mice and Men. Program error, call for help. You've got a real problem. Restart. Anyway, just, I just think those are so cute. And this, I, I like this because it was like there's the little crafty thing, the little brushes and pencils. And all right, so there's that one. This one <laughs> I originally made for my sister for Christmas, but she doesn't really decorate like she used to. But I don't know. I just I thought that was so cute. It was it was the second Christmas that I had ever done. I did a series of Santa Clauses for my my uh, stepmom one year, and um, that's when I was really getting into doing the detailed Christmas Christmas images. But I really loved this one. I thought it was really pretty. I, I apologize. I don't know the names of these. I, it's been so long. I have no clue. I know I got this out of one of my cross stitch magazines and when I get to go through my magazines one day um, I may probably find it and that way I can refer you to it if you like it I just I think it's adorable um, this was a little free pattern I can't remember where I got it again 2000 uh, you know it just a little cherub sitting in a bunch of flowers just thought that was kind of cute all right here's some of the precious moments again um, uh, two of the Precious Moments books. One had 16 patterns in it. One had 22 patterns. I did every single one of them. Um, and, and I don't know if you're familiar with the Precious Moments books. They are patches of color. And what really pulls them together is the back stitching. Um, all the back stitching on this one was done in a brown. It wasn't done in the 3371 dark brown, but it was done in a brown. It's just the detail that pulls it together is just amazing when you get it done because it just looked like blobs of color until you put it all in, and then it's just like, wow, these people really knew what they were doing when they made these, but it's so cute. Save my life, I'm telling you. Press on. There's another one. I don't, there's not that many little boys in our family, so I never really got a chance to give this to anybody. Um, here's one hanging there. Um, I think one of the girls, I can't remember her name, I saw that she had this framed and on her wall she does a lot of kitty cat stuff. And I just thought, oh, that's so cool, that's my kitty cat. So, uh, so yeah, and I, ca I can't remember, she was the one that did the huge Pokemon. Did all the videos on the, the, the Pokemon generation, um, which I don't know if I could ever in my lifetime tackle something like that, but kudos to her because she did an amazing job on that and and her video footage was really good too but um yeah she she recently went around and, and showed all of her pictures this year but that was one that she did and i thought it was kind of cool um that's one of my bigger ones but uh now remember i told you about garfield 
I went on eBay and went and got every Garfield cross stitch book I could find. I've got like five or six of them, but I'm in the process of finishing up one. Um, but I'm doing it all on 22 count one over one because uh, while my I, I'm far side, I'm sorry, I'm nearsighted, so while I can see up close, really good. Um, and, and I did this with two two threads. I think I'm going to do the rest of them from now on maybe in one because it's so tight that it just didn't uh, I mean it looks pretty but it's so tight I don't know I don't know if I'm going to just do it with one or if I'll just anyway um, it turned out really good I like it. You can't really the colors aren't good because this is like a this is a plum purple, and this is like a, a lavender color. I don't think I don't think the color's coming out very good on this, but it's really cool. There's my Garfield. He ate too much ice cream. So cute. I've got some hanging up in my room. I'll have to show you sometime. And when it comes to typing, I'm all pause. Of course, that's not me. Ooh, let's see if we can get it up close. Yeah. So again, these are some of the. And like I said, these are all pictures that I have in my slideshow that that I showed, along with some of my. Uh, my crocheted works. But I don't want to hear about it. Sitting in his chair, so cool. And his chair is actually two different shades of blue, but I think the camera's making it look like it's green. It's kind of weird. I like that. I should have brought my aunt light in here. <clears throat> Last but not least, to heat is human. To overeat is divine. He's sitting on a pillow. I had so much trouble with these little pom poms. I don't know if you can see or not. You talk about back stitching. I like back stitching, but that was. It's not going to focus. There it goes. That was ridiculous. I mean, it was utterly ridiculous. But again, this is one of those with the blobs of color, and the back stitch pulls it all together really good. But that was that was a pain in my rear. And then I have this last one pretty big. I have to unfold it. I think I'm going to have to adjust the camera. Um, I can't remember who the pattern was on this one, but I absolutely love how this turned out. I'll show it to you in pieces and then I'll spread it out and pull the camera back. But the sky is all done in half stitch, which, which I think is really pretty the way that turned out. Um, I did it on a light blue fabric. And there's the, the polar bear. Um, oh, it looks like red in there, but yeah, it's kind of a mauve color, actually. It is, um, but I think it turned out really good. Um, the only, I don't, this one doesn't have any back stitching until you get down to the bottom, and it's pretty big. Um, I did this one in 2007, yeah, 2007, but the bottom, that's where it's got a little bit of back stitching in it. Um, you can kind of see. There's back stitching around the polar bear just a little bit, um, just to outline, kind of see where they are, the family. But um, let me adjust the camera out. Without, oh shoot! Oh, it's not gonna do it. No. Oh, well, let's flip it and see if it'll. You can kind of get an idea. There we go. I lift up the camera. <laughs> there we go. But um, yeah, I think it turned out really good. I'm very proud of this one. Um, going to have this framed or I don't know I may turn it into a throw pillow for my my uh, ex-mother-in-law's couch um, she kind of she likes my work so so yeah I thought that would be really good and now I'm gonna oh, I'm not gonna be able to do the camera very well uh, let's see oh, okay now we're back there we go good all right so that's just some stuff that I have um, to show you that uh, just some finished stuff but, so that I could explain where a lot of that work came from um, that you see in the slideshows but and then I have there's a couple more in the slideshows that are not on here that are portraits that I did I think they're they're all portraits um, but this is for another time this is a portrait I did of my mom but it's, it's creased, so it's not it's not going to be not going to be done very well. But anyway, those are something that I'm going to show you when I show you how to when I do how do I create my the third step on creating my uh, my patterns. So so yeah, that's what I got for you. And again, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe if you want to see more or tell me what you want to see. Um, leave a comment below. 
Um, uh, my giveaway, probably by the time I post this, my giveaway will already be gone. Um, oh, hey, I could stitch on camera. Hey. No, I don't know if I could see around the camera. That it's kind of messed up. I don't see how people do that. Because I don't have a regular... My camera is attached to my tripod, and my tripod has this big, huge handle, which I'm holding onto it, but you can't see it. So you don't know what I'm talking about. And you know what? Let me undo you. I will undo you. And show you what I'm talking about. Okay. There we go. So this is the this is the handle that was poking me in the face um, on the tripod, but um, but yeah. So this is made for bigger cameras, but I'm I've uh, I don't know. I think it turned out pretty good. I like the use of it. So I think I've got it adjusted to where I want it. Oh, I'm gonna move it. But I keep breaking the legs. It actually will shoot up a lot higher, but. Um, but anyway, so that's what I've got. Again, if you like my channel, please subscribe. If you want to see more videos, they'll email to you. Um, like I'm going to leave a couple links below. Like I said, um, young40mom at gmail.com if you're interested. Um, oh, no, no, that's sorry. That's the other video. <laughs> I'm trying to feel two at the same time and kill two birds with one stone. But anyway, all right, young40mom, peace out. She's got to take a break. Clean her arms. Hello, Millie. Is it good? She's, uh oh. Now she's coming to this side. <gasps> oh, she found it. She found the other side. Oh, got to take a break. Clean her face. Is it good? Good stuff. Oh, good stuff. Yeah. Oh, oh, she found it. Oh, there we go. She's a, she's a, a spayed indoor cat. What do you expect her belly to be? It's going to be fat. Oh, really? Fat and fuzzy. Fat and fuzzy. Oh, that's mine. Do Kitty crack. Cat nip is kitty crack. There she goes. Oh, love my post. I love my post. There she goes. Rub it. She usually takes her hind legs and kicks the top of it. She'll flip it over and start kicking it. Yeah. I guess she's enjoying it for right now. She'll start getting mad at it here in a minute. Oh, there she goes. Oh, I knew it. Don't giggle. Don't giggle. She'll, she won't do it. Oh, she's scratching. She doesn't have fleas. That's funny. Oh, she's got to clean herself. She's got to think about it. <laughs>